On Thursday, a New York jury found Donald Trump guilty on 34 felony counts of falsifying business records to conceal a hush money payment made to a porn star ahead of the 2016 presidential election. Politically, this unprecedented criminal conviction of a former U.S. president and a major party presidential nominee plunges the nation into uncharted waters as Trump continues his campaign against President Joe Biden. After the jury's verdict, the case moves to the sentencing phase, controlled by Judge Juan Merchan. The judge set Trump's sentencing date for July 11th at 10 a.m. ET and ordered the parties to file motions by June 13th. Both sides are expected to submit sentencing memos, presenting their arguments for the preferred punishment. Trump will likely sit for an interview with a probation officer, who will prepare a presentence report including sentencing recommendations for Merchant to consider. Trump's attorneys may attempt to delay his sentencing, possibly until after the November 5th presidential election, but Merchant is unlikely to grant such a delay without a compelling reason, said New York City defense lawyer Michael Bachner. In the meantime, Trump can speak to the press, travel, and continue his presidential campaign. He is no longer bound by the gag order that barred him from discussing witnesses, jurors, and the judge's family members, according to Bachner. Trump's guilty verdict does not make him a convicted felon until he is sentenced in July. The charges against Trump are Class E felonies, the least serious category under New York law, each carrying a maximum sentence of four years in prison. Trump's sentence could include fines, restitution, probation, or other conditions, though imprisonment is not off the table. Judge Merchant has broad discretion in determining Trump's sentence. Factors such as Trump's age, 77, and lack of a prior criminal record may work in his favor. However, Trump's conduct during the trial, including publicly attacking the judge and accusing him of political bias, could also influence Merchant's decision. Trump violated gag orders multiple times, which the judge previously cited as attempts to intimidate the court. Experts generally believe it is highly unlikely that Trump will face jail time. Bachner stated he would be shocked if Trump was sentenced to jail, noting that probation is more typical for similar convictions. Merchant has expressed reluctance to imprison a former president, citing logistical and broader implications. Pace Law School professor Bennett Gershman noted that while a jail sentence is plausible, the judge might opt for house arrest due to the complexities of incarcerating a former president. Gershman emphasized the seriousness of the case, which goes to the heart of our democracy. Trump's legal battle will not prevent him from running for president. Both Bachner and Gershman agreed that Trump will inevitably appeal Merchant's sentence, a process that could take months or years. This means Trump could still run for office even if his conviction stands by election day. The Constitution requires that American presidents be natural-born citizens, at least 35 years old, and have lived in the U.S. for at least 14 years. It does not bar felons from holding the highest office.